Hello everyone! I just completed my first ever trip to the Tale of the Dragon in my C6 Corvette. This is one of the most remarkable routes in the US for any car or motorcycle enthusiast, and is found right on the border of North Carolina and Tennessee. Upon reflecting, I realized there were a few things that I would have greatly benefited from knowing beforehand. Thus, if you're planning on a Tale of the Dragon run for yourself, here's everything I can think of to make your experience better. Starting off with the most important point, do not under any conditions cross over the double yellow line in the middle of the road. I understand that if you've ever done any kind of performance driving, you might have a propensity to use the width of the road to your advantage. However, this can be lethal along this particular road. The route consists of 381 turns, many of which are completely blind, meaning you can't see the other side of them. If you or someone else happens to cross into the other lane at the wrong time, neither party involved will have any time to react, and a nasty crash could easily be the result. Deals Gap started out as an attraction mainly to motorcyclists, and remains so to this day, which heightens the stakes of a mistake as they don't have the protection of a giant metal cage. So for the sake of yourself and the experience of everyone else present, just be very careful to stay firmly on the right side of the road. Along the road you will notice two other features, pull-offs and signs. There are various pull-offs spaced out for the duration of the road designed to allow for safe passing. This allows slower cars to get out from in front of you and avoids a situation where you have to sit behind a minivan for the whole time. On the flip side, if a faster car is behind you, be sure to use these to let them through as it only makes everyone's experience better. Just be sure to use a blinker and make your intentions known before pulling off to avoid any kind of confusion. The second and more important thing here is the signs. With so many accidents on this road, signs that tell you the turn style that's coming up next as well as the recommended speed for that turn were installed. This was super helpful as with all the blind turns it's often very hard to tell if it's just a kink in the road or a full blown tight U-turn. These signs will make sure that you don't get caught off guard and end up exploring nature. As for the recommended speeds, it seemed you could carry a bit more speed than what was shown, but they were certainly in the ballpark. Overall, these signs made the drive far easier. My third tip is to go on a weekday morning if possible. Not only does this greatly reduce the amount of cars on the road and allow you to fully experience it without traffic, but it becomes far safer. On weekdays, you'll get a much larger proportion of locals who know the road and understand things such as the importance of the yellow line rule, whereas on the weekend, the likelihood of running into tourists that may underestimate the road and its dangers is far greater. From what I gathered speaking to the locals, if you must go on a weekend, try to go as early in the morning as possible, as later in the day from what I hear the traffic can become rather brutal. Speaking of locals, my fourth tip is to follow a group that's familiar with the road. If you can follow along the back of any group that's familiar with the road, it will serve multiple benefits. Here in my onboard footage, I was following a group of Miatas that come here on a regular basis. Doing this not only gave me a good idea of when to break and how hard, but enabled me to comfortably go faster than I otherwise would have. However, I think the bigger benefit comes in the form of police detection. Law enforcement regularly camps in the woods along the road looking for both speeding as well as crossing the middle line. As a matter of fact, they even pulled over a large group while I was there, and we also came up on one hiding in the woods. This is where I received a massive benefit being at the back of a group as everyone slammed on their brakes ahead of me upon seeing this cop giving me ample time to check my speed and make sure that I was good before I was even in line of sight of him. I would definitely recommend doing it once without anyone in front of you to really enjoy the road and take it all in, but for the very first run of the day, this tip could save you a ticket or a trip into the trees. My next recommendation is to do multiple runs and to also check out some of the surrounding area. Now, while my first run of the Tale of the Dragon was great fun, it's also when you'll be the most apprehensive and cautious because you don't really know what to expect at first. And that's why I would suggest doing a few runs, as once you know what you're in for, you'll likely loosen up a little bit and be able to enjoy the experience a lot more. Also keep in mind that while the Tale of the Dragon is the most well known, there are dozens of other great roads in the area, many of which are far less busy. My two favorites were the Cherahala Skyway and the Foothills Parkway, which you see a clip of here. Checking out these as well will allow you to see more of the beautiful scenery that the area has to offer while still driving some of the most fun roads in the country. Whether you are riding in a car or on a motorcycle, a mechanical failure can easily ruin your day. The Tale of the Dragon is quite far from the nearest civilization, and as a result, a tow can get expensive quickly and throw a wedge into all of your plans. So as a result, standard maintenance items such as fluids and tires should be checked prior to visitation to reduce the chances of an issue. 
Among these, my personal opinion was that my brakes were what took the biggest beating, with many steep downhill sections both along the tail of the dragon as well as the roads taken to get there, each of these demanding long stretched out segments of continuous braking. So be sure to check that you have a comfortable amount of brake pad thickness left as well. Also, make sure that you approach the tail of the dragon with a good mindset, meaning to be cautious of underestimating the road or overestimating your abilities. It's best to start off at a comfortable pace and take your time working up from there. There's no need to push yourself as this is still a public road and not a controlled environment like a track. Ensuring the safety and preservation of yourself, those around you, and our vehicles is a good thing to have as a top priority. My final tip is to be sure to get your photos. So there are multiple companies that take professional photos of your car or motorcycle as you go ahead and conquer the dragon. I have linked what I thought was the best of these websites below which is 129photos.com and is really great quality. There are a few other ones out there but this is the one that I figured was the highest quality as well as the best price. They offer bulk deals so that the more pictures that you buy the cheaper it is per, per picture and the price is definitely well worth it to capture the experience. I plan on turning some of mine into posters which I think could turn out really cool. So be sure to check out 129photos.com after you run the dragon to get your photos. So there you have it. Those are my main tips for a trip to the dragon that I think will really enhance your experience. If you're on the fence about doing this, I encourage you to make it happen. I wanted to go for a few years myself and finally convinced myself to and it was 100% worth it. Between the scenery, the challenge of the road, and the people that you'll meet in the area, the Tale of the Dragon is worthy of your bucket list. I am now going to leave you with just a few moments of my raw onboard footage to give a proper idea of what the road is like. Sorry for the wind noise, I probably should have put the camera on the inside of the car but I ended up putting it on the hood. But good luck on your journey, I wish you safe travels and hope you enjoy the dragon as much as I did. Thanks for watching and have a great day.